have discussed the number of problems in the permutation and combination. These type of problems you will find very frequently in the exam. And the best part is that once you get to understand the concept behind them, you can solve each and every question of this type. So let us see the first question. How many three digit numbers are there? Now let us be very clear that in the world we have only 10 type of numbers which are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. These are the 10 type of numbers which we have in all. Before we begin solving the actual questions, let us clear one of our very important concept. Whenever we are talking about the number of digits or the number of actual numbers that are fit in a digit, like for a 3 digit number, the example can be 121, 211, 250. We have to make one thing very clear. If it is not specified in the question whether the repetition of digits is allowed, or it is not allowed, then we have to always assume that the repetition of digits is allowed in a number. Like in 211, the digits that is repeated is 1, that is 2 and 2 times 1, so it is 211, 211. In such cases, we have to always assume that the repetition of digits is allowed in a number unless it is explicitly specified, that is it is restricted that the repetition of digits is not allowed. Always assume as a thumb of rule that the repetition of digits is allowed. Now we have to determine how many 3 digit numbers are there. So at the 100 space, how many possible numbers are there? Apart from 0, we can put any of these 9 numbers. So in total there will be 9 type of number that can come at the 100 space. At the 10 space, any of the 10 numbers can come which are these numbers. Similarly, at the unit space, any of the 10 numbers can come. So, in simple terms, the answer will be the total possible 3 digit numbers equal to 9 into 10 into 10, which is equal to 900. So, 900 is the answer. Next question, how many 3 digit numbers are there in which there is exactly one 9? By exactly one 9, I mean that the 9 can be at the unit space, it can be at the 10 space or it can be at the 100 space, but there has to be only and exactly one 9 in that number. Now this is a type of question in which it is specified that there can be exactly one 9. So we are explicitly being asked not to repeat, uh, not to repeat the digit nine. So there will be three cases. The first case will be when nine is at hundred place. Case one, when nine is at hundred place, means that there is only one number that is the nine, which is placed at hundred place. At the tenth place, we can place the rest of the nine numbers apart from nine, which are zero, one. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So in total these are the 9 numbers which we can place at the 10th place. Similarly at the units place we can place these numbers. We can place any of these numbers like right? 0 to 8. So in total these are also 9 numbers. For case 1, total numbers are When 9 is at 10 space, we have to fulfill the criteria, the exact condition. So, 9 is at 10 space, 
place that there can be only one number at this place. At hundreds place, how many numbers can we have? Can we have zero at hundreds place? No, because then there that that number will not be a three digit number. So zero cannot be placed at hundreds place. Nine cannot be placed at hundreds place because it has already come at a tens place. So what are the numbers which can come? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight type of numbers can come. Similarly for the unit space, how many numbers can come? But here zero can come. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here eight type of numbers. No, nine type of numbers can come. So the numbers for case two will be eight into one. Nine. That is seventy. Let us see the case three. When nine is at unit space, in this case only nine can be there on the unit space. So only one number for unit space. Then what about for the hundreds in the tens place? For the hundreds place, how many numbers can come? Zero cannot come. Obviously, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in all. Eight type of numbers can come here, and at the tens place, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in all, nine type of numbers can come here. So the numbers for the case three will be eight into nine into one. Equal to now we have to consider all the three cases or considering the total such numbers. We have to calculate the total numbers in which there is exactly one nine. So what can happen? Either case one can happen or case two can happen or case three can happen. Which means we have to add all these cases. The solution for case one is eighty-one. For case two, it is seventy-two, and for case three, equal to seventy-two. So, what will be the sum of these numbers? It is two twenty-five. So that is the answer. We have it is two twenty-five. Next question is: How many three-digit numbers are there in which there is at least one nine? Now, what does that question mean? That there is at least one nine in the three-digit number, so there can be one nine or two nine or all the three digits can be nine. So how do we solve it? So either we have to go straight forward, taking multiple cases, whether uh, when there is one nine, two nine, and three nine, and add up all these cases. Instead, we will follow a reverse approach in this. What is the reverse approach? Already know that the total three-digit numbers are nine hundred from the first question that we have seen. Now, from these total three-digit numbers, we will subtract those numbers in which there is zero nine. So, if we will subtract those numbers which have zero nine, it means we are left with those numbers which have at least one nine. So, numbers in which there is zero nine. How do we find those numbers? It means at a hundred place, how many numbers can be placed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight. We cannot take nine at that. So how many numbers are there? Eight. At a tens place, we can have zero, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, in total, how many numbers can we take at tens place? Nine. At a unit place, similarly, we can have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here, we can also have nine numbers. So, total numbers in which there is zero nine will be. Equal to 
8 into 9 into 9 which is equal to 648 so what we will do we will subtract this 648 from the total three digit numbers which will be 900 minus 648 equal to 252 so 252 is the answer these are the numbers in which there is 0 9 it means at least 1 9 will be there means 252 are those three digit numbers in which there is at least one nine. Next question, how many three digit numbers are there in which each digit is either 2 or 9? The options are 8, 12, 15 or 24. Let us see how to go about it. At the hundreds place we can have only two numbers, 2 or 9. So two numbers. Similarly, at the tens place, we can have two numbers which are two and nine. Similarly, at the units place, we can have two numbers which are two and nine. So at the hundreds place, we can have two numbers which are two or nine at the tens, two or nine, and at the units, two or nine. So the total numbers are. into 2 into 2 the answer is 8 in the upcoming sessions we will see more advanced version of such questions i hope you got the basic concept